all, boys. Mr. Murphy, you need to come with us if you want to live. Seriously? Just kidding. What was going on in there? <sighs> you know the drill. Why do so many people around you end up dead? Same as you. Just comes with a job. I just get there quicker. Did you kill Margaret Leonard? Oh, yeah. And what happened to her head? Let's see. Hmm, behind my ear, yes. But we keep walking in on you with all these dead bodies. You must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Well, I don't know if I'm number one, but I'll tell you, I'm in the top ten. I'm also in the top ten of the luckiest, but don't ask me why. I don't care why, I just want to know who. Wait a second, how do we even know it's Margaret Leonard? I mean, maybe that's why they took the head. Yeah, that might have worked a hundred years ago, but now we've got apps for that. We've already got a positive ID. It's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, kind of working together, uh, bouncing ideas, sharing information. I mean, what if I said I had some information that might help your investigation? I'd say you were withholding evidence. No, I said I might have something. No, you said you had something that might help. Yeah. Look, Dan, would you seem like a stand-up guy, and I know you don't want any vigilantism, so I'll play it by the book. I think I have video that might have been shot by the guy who killed Margaret Leonard. I'm just gonna hand it to you and hope you'll cut me some slack. It's on your smart, Alex. Let's have it. The guy in the video is Mason Bowers. And this is the guy you think was abducted. The problem is there's no evidence of anyone being abducted, so I can't investigate. My hands are tied. Well, mine, as you see, are not. I may have seen this guy before on some kind of surveillance video. A surveillance video, you say? The video could have shown you in your apartment talking to an elderly lady. There may have been another man there as well, a mutant of some kind, who might have jumped you. The elderly lady, in theory, could have appeared to have injected you when you were restrained. In the ensuing struggle, you might have been knocked out on the fire escape. And when would Bowers have shown, hypothetically? Right after you were knocked out, tore through the apartment in pursuit of the old lady. So everything that I've told you matches up, and we're both looking for Mason Bowers. Are you familiar with a program called VCT, Vehicle Compliance Tracking? All cars come with sensors that report when one is out of compliance. For example, when you have your right front headlight shot out, if you could access the VCT database, which is illegal and highly inadvisable, you would find a list of all vehicles with the right front headlight shot out. If you could provide more information on the vehicle, you can access an ID and an address from the registration. Any chance this might have been the vehicle seen in the Maldonado surveillance video? I gotta get back to work, Murphy. If you got questions, ask them. And then stop wasting my time with this speculative nonsense. As soon as I got back from the new San Francisco Police Department, I had an urgent message from Rook. It seems Rook had a soft spot for Margaret and wanted to bring her some justice. He told me he had another interested party in the Tesla cash. Account St. Germain, who was staying at the Golden Gate Hotel. Maybe he could divulge some answers. One hears a great deal about Tex Murphy on Chandler Avenue. To what do I owe this pleasure?
Word is you're a big fan of Nikola Tesla, or at least his stuff. Yes. Your local pawn shop has a remarkably extensive offering of Tesla paraphernalia. Certainly the largest cash I've found this side of Belgrade. You mind if I ask what your interest is in Tesla? I gather you're at least somewhat familiar with the story of the Tesla cash? I believe some of the items Rook has were part of the Tesla cash, but he refuses to divulge how he obtained them. I presume from Margaret Leonard, or some third party who got them from her. Oh, shocking. Rook normally would cut off his right arm if he thought somebody would buy it. I've spent many years searching for something. My hope is to find a clue as to its whereabouts in Tesla's letters or journals. But the trail has led me here. Tell me, Mr. Murphy, do you know the name J.T. Donnelly? Yeah. I mean, I just heard about it, but he was a P.I. and he lived around here back in the 1940s. At the Ritz, in the very room in which you now live. An intriguing connection. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting and uh, maybe a little weird, but it's... it's not a connection. <laughs> but it's so much more than that. Back in Donnelly's time, there was a man known as the Sleeping Prophet, Edgar Casey. He made a compelling case for the belief that most of us have lived past lives. <laughs> You're losing me. Come now. You've said on more than one occasion that you felt as if you'd been born a century too late. A man out of time, as it were. Tell me, do you have disturbingly realistic, vivid dreams of another era? What? You know about my dreams? I must be getting incredibly broad-minded in my old age. So what are you saying? Ah, I was J.T. Donnelly in a former life. We could explore that possibility, but first, have eggs ever appeared in your dreams? Oh, I, I love eggs, of course. Uh, poached, uh, over easy, scrambled. I mean, they're certainly nature's wonder food. There are affordable accommodations in better parts of the city. Something could have been drawing you specifically to the Ritz. Don't you agree? Yeah, cheap rent. Could you maybe help me out with these memories? Uh... Help me interpret these dreams. If you could find this egg, or even put me on its trail again, I have certain techniques, such as regression and channeling, that could help you recall past events. And, I should add, the egg is worth a fortune. Which I would gladly pay. We talk for a few minutes longer, but I tell him I need to get back to the case. This is way beyond my comprehension. Mystical eggs, mind regression, past lives, it's boggling. Margaret spoke of an egg being held by a religious fanatic who prays. Was it the Tesla egg I found in the wall at the Ritz? If so, it would have been there for over a hundred years. Does it have some sort of channeling power from the person who possessed it? Well, Mason Bowers is still the key. I need data for the VCT so I can find out who kidnapped him. I better start asking around. Time for some good old-fashioned detective work. You should talk to potential witnesses and see if they know anything about the suspicious vehicle involved with the abduction. Wow, that is crazy what happened to Margaret Leonard. Is everything okay with you and the cops? Yeah, the cops would love to pin it on me, but I think it's all tied to a Mason Bowers who was abducted outside the Ritz a couple of nights ago. I'm just trying to find anybody who might have seen something. Oh, well, then you probably need to talk to Sapphire. Sapphire? Sounds like some Greek oracle. Well, I don't know if she's Greek or not, but she's definitely exotic looking. And she's one of your fellow tenants. Her door's decorated like a French nightmare, but it suits her business. So, if you hear any noises you can't identify, you might want to come back later. This is a nice surprise. Oh, likewise, and may I say that the neighborhood has become more friendly and more beautiful than I remember. Thanks, Tex. You know just what to say to please a lady. Wow, is that a uh, 
What kind of contraption is that? So, what brings New San Francisco's sexiest PI to my door? Business or pleasure? Pleasure is my business. <sighs> How disappointing. Well, we could use that home gym in there to work off some stress. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a happy ending, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's all anybody wants, right? I mean, and they lived happily ever after, that kind of thing. <sighs> Fine. You don't want to scratch each other's backs. But what if I don't play ball? Can we still rough and tumble? Well, Sapphire, don't make me twist your arm. Oh. <laughs> you can't make me talk. <laughs> we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Excuse me? Are you threatening me? Because if you are, I'd love to see you try the hard way. Oh. I'm sorry, Tex. I got carried away. I didn't mean to hurt you. At least not like that. Do you forgive me? Not until I give you a good, firm interrogation. I'm all yours, Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> It looked black, or midnight blue at first, but when the light hit it just right, hmm, I could see that it was actually close to sapphire, which, of course, I would remember. Um, you do know she's a he, right? With the strength of ten ordinary men. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? You're talking about the speeder I saw take off after the shooting? What I can tell you for certain is the last two digits on the license plate. They were the numbers six and three. Hello, Murphy. Uh, how goes the investigation? The, uh, the speeder that flew away after the gunshots I heard? Well, I'm not sure what type it was, uh, but I did notice that the interior was very unusual. It was uh, all white. Not again. You're going to get me fired. Or worse. Yeah, there was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. I got a thing for high-end speeders. This was a 48 Pandium. Sweet ride. Whatever you need, Mife. Just ask. So this is the speeder you think took off after those gunshots and the abduction the other day. I do remember seeing a vehicle. I didn't get the license plate or nothing. I just saw it was one of them nice Pandians. The Biturbo XL model. I hope you don't mind, Mife. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old text they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. Well, I finally gather enough data to identify the kidnap vehicle. It's registered to a company called Seisan, and the location appears on my map. I check out Seisan with Smart Alex and find out it's some sort of doomsday cult recruiting candidates for a brave new world, and they believe this world will arrive soon. These boys take their schoolwork seriously. Yep, 
Force field blocking the entrance. I wonder if there's a mechanism around here that could turn it off. Sand and set off every alarm possible. I'm missing a token that would grant me entry inside. I head back to my office to devise a new strategy when I find a fax waiting for me. Someone's been watching over my shoulder and it's not a comforting feeling. This informant wants to meet me at Coit Tower. Yep, this is a great idea. Just waiting to meet some anonymous chap who still sends faxes. You know, he probably uses real bullets. I think you need to be a little more trusting of people in the past. Yes, I'm plugged into the internet. The internet! And you want me to trust people? Mate. Slade? How? What? Uh, weren't you in... Locked up in San Quentin till 2260? No, not me. Good behavior. Well, I'm glad you've turned over a new leaf. I'm a big fan of forgiving and forgetting. Mostly forgetting. So what don't you remember? Uh, just the last seven years. So you don't remember everything after you and Chelsea got nicked? Chelsea's brother? The Englishwoman, Juliet? Our little partnership? Our partnership? Look, I know we just made up, but I think I'd rather lick toilets with my tongue than work with you. Ah, but you did, Tex. I did. Which one? Work with me. And it paid a lot better than licking dunnies. How do you think you made all that money? These past few years have been, shall we say, mutually beneficial. But now it seems the same old Tex, the Boy Scout, is back. That's a problem. You want to know what's wrong with the Boy Scouts? Not a darn thing. So you've been helping us track down this precious little egg. First you say you got it, then you say Margaret Lennon stole it. Next thing I know, you turn up at Saison tripping security alarms like some clueless amateur. Well, what the hell was that all about? For your information, I set those alarms off on purpose, and I don't have to tell you why. Always got to do everything the hard way, don't you, Tex? This will get you into Saison. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll give you 24 hours to find that egg. And then I'm gonna come looking for you. And you know I'll find you. You can be hung over from things other than alcohol. My meeting with Slade left me shivering like I had the DTs. This guy and I were partners over the last seven years. 
There's trouble in my soul and it's become as cold as ash. The further I see down the barrel, the more dangerous and diabolical my world becomes.